What's going what's up, on? Guys? Do you, I'm sorry. Do you want to do the intro? What's up, guys? My name's Meta Nose. And I'm Keto. And this is Critical Gaming Channel. Impressive. <laughs> Alright, guys. This is episode 7 of Doki Doki Literature Club. Alright, so uh, let's get right into it. So, last time we left off, Yuri said... I... It's up to me to save the situ this situation. Because I'm the we're, man. We're starting off with me not being able to read again. <laughs> I'm the first to start applauding. Of course. Of course you are, MC Kuhn. As the male in the situation, I have to take charge. Fuck me. <laughs> wow, Meta knows ever the professional. Okay, I think I just broke my phone. I hope well, we let's hope not, let, let's uh, let's hope not. <clears throat> everyone joins me afterward. My male dominance pres, pres, looming over the room in its male man, manly manly way, because I'm such a manly man with power and authority over others. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves, even though she doesn't need any recognition. Because she has the skills herself, and she doesn't need anyone to validate her existence. Because she is valid in her own existence, and no one can give or take that away from her. Now, just had to say that, because... It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> My mind had a blank. We were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. And that's why she d probably doesn't want to do poems out loud because fucking people want to be like, Oh, I'm so profound that I can't clap. Oh, it's so weird. You're weird for being that good at writing. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. That's not her voice. Who cares? Thank you for sharing. You know, the, the whole... Thank you for sharing. Putting emphasis on things, that's her whole thing, dude. Yeah, I know, but I, I dropped you, it. You gotta stay consistent, I really man. I dropped it. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Oh. Okay! I guess I'm next, then! Oh. <laughs> that's me. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks, over, walks to the podium. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called... My meadow. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, she's that. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Sayori, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> oh, that's cute. How did you guys do it so easily? Aw. Uh, ah. Trying to think of it like you're reciting it to other people. Just think about it like you're saying it out loud. That's it. Like in front of a mirror or in your own head. You know. You're really cute. I like it. Okay. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Hmm. Glad you understand. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Are you, are you there? Hell nah. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Let's get this episode like, I, 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 fucking going, man. I'm pumped. I'm fucking pumped. Pumped. Fucking pumped. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and literally. Uh, what? It was serene and bittersweet. Okay, there you go. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But, hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. <laughs> Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poem. And I get to reach more deeply and if someone in thought I knew through and through. Sayori so finishes and we applaud. I, I did it! Good job, Sayori. What what happened to your voice? I don't know. 
<laughs> Even MC liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere- Wait, what does that even mean? I guess, like, he hates everything or something. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I- Wait, what? I don't really understand. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry your pretty little head about it. You'll understand in due time. Oh, okay. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. Deliberately. They might need to do a little more. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... That's me. That's... That's me! <laughs> God damn it! Well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> of course it would be. Look at how she's putting her fingers together like that. That's so cool. Yeah, that clearly shows that she's embarrassed. That's adorable. Who did this fucking art? Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> wow. God damn it. Oh, really... I, didn't know it was my, I didn't know it was my line, man. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. A little more. Wow. Uh... Want to give that another go? Like, starting from poem. Yeah, a poem. <laughs> that challenges you a little more. There you go. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? I really did not realize my vision was this bad. I think I save this every episode because I always end up fucking do like not having glasses on when we do this. Yeah, next time around, next session, we definitely need to get you get you, you, you didn't know where your know where your glasses dude, are, it's dude. It's gonna be interesting. Cause yeah. I have no idea where they are, but I did not know my vision was this bad. This is horrible. I'm learning new things about myself. Okay. Now who's next? Natsuki. Fuck no. Hmm. Don't make me. Ugh. Don't make me go before MC. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let MC lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. What the fuck are you trying to say? Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. And Sayori, you're still gonna be worse than me. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. But I promise you I'm better than Sayori. We just have to go with what I wrote for today. You know, not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty fucking bad at poetry, if you know what I mean. I don't did I use that phrase correctly or I don't know. Oh, I mean that's probably the opposite of tooting <laughs> tooting the horn. But, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> it's like you it's like you <laughs> it started out cocky but then, you just, to, like, and then you just shout on yourself. <laughs> I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, oh, making nah, me feel terribly know. awkward. And it doesn't help that they're all cute girls! Whoa! <laughs> I recite my poem. I have a raging heart on the whole time, and I'm wondering if any of them notice, and I really hope they don't. Since I'm not easily confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. I hope they're not focused on the boner. I try to put emphasis on my words so that they focus on that and not the boner. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Hopefully for the boner. <laughs> what the fuck? What on earth is Sorry, this? Sorry, I'm not really as big as everyone else. I mean, good. <laughs> Don't worry about it so much. <laughs> I mean, you can't compete with these dicks. <laughs> and, then just, and then you just go like, um, Monica, what do you mean? Monica, what are you saying? Just, <laughs> what? What dicks? What are you talking about? You're not wow, this just became a food to, like, no time at all. Where do you think you're going, MC? <laughs> I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Whatever. Why is all his responses like that? It just sounds like some fucking stupid teenager that's like... It, uh, probably because he is a... Teenager. Yeah. You know. All right, then. That just leaves you, Noski. Come on, girl. You can do it. Yeah. 
Sorry. I seriously need to clear my throat. <sighs> Grow up in Seacoon. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. Jesus Christ. The poem is called... It's called... Well, spit it out already! Why are you all looking at me? Where the fuck are we supposed to look? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we don't got all fucking day, man! Spit it, spit it out, man! The fuck is your problem? God damn it! <laughs> because you're presenting. Hmm. Yeah, damn it, fuck. A anyway, the poem is called Jump. Well, fucking original, man. <laughs> what the fuck are you? Fucking crisscross, man? Get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> some fucking guy in the back just like. Just heckling yeah, her. Yeah, just heckling her the it's whole like, time. Like, where did the asshole even come Why from? Why's your fucking hair pink? That's not, that's not a natural hair color. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> Who, Monica, who is this guy? Why is he in the classroom? Who, who let I'm him in? Sorry. I, I thought this was Seinfeld's comedy special. Fuck, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to heckle you. I, I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. You guys go ahead and do your thing. Uh, I, I Get got out. The wrong place. Get out before I call Just the cops. Just don't call the police, please. Please. I'm 34 and I don't have any business here. You sound a lot older than 34, sir. <laughs> Just don't let my wife know. <laughs> She'd be so ashamed of me. No calzones, huh? She, 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 won't, she, won't, fucking calzones, she won't make those calzones if you... No calzones. Mm. But I can make them myself. I don't make her do the cooking. That's but... some bullshit. I don't follow stupid standards. Alright? Now but you the... ladies have a good day. You too. Boy. Man. Thing. Natsuki takes him back. <laughs> well, that was fucking weird. Who the fuck is that? I don't even understand how he got in. But when she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. So, well, she's still a bit unenthused. unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The <coughs> words feel like they bounce up and down, and as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. Well, good job, Natsuki. She huffs back to her seat. <sighs> Can't even be happy about people applauding her. You ungrateful piece of garbage. <laughs> oh. well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again, even though I'm going to be doing it in front of it more end. people that we don't know, and I'm going to be a total asshole about it because I'm a today. But yeah. She's going to send them all to the m m morgue. <laughs> <laughs> no, going to send them all to the m m no, and then you go like more, and then she goes like, I knew that! And, oh, yeah, fucking like yeah. Luigi was like, Yeah. Okay, that was a Toradora reference, if you don't know, I'm sorry. Yeah, we talked about show. Toradora like episode one. If you haven't watched yeah. it, what are you doing with your life? It's good. It's really good. Ah, uh, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? Yeah. I mean, I'm doing it in front of other people. Ah. I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. Why would it be easier? I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That, that doesn't make sense. That's a surprise, not... Uh, that's a surprise, Nusky. Yeah, that's fucking I weird. I think it'll be... I think it would be the other way around for me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just how it is, so... I don't, I don't know. Probably because she, you know they don't know her, so she's like not really, ex you know, <clears throat> expecting much from them. But from her, you know, from people that she's familiar with, you know, yeah, makes sense. What they think means a lot more to her is what she's basically getting at. Well, I guess in that case, you wouldn't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard. But I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Wh why does she keep doing that? Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. Give me a fucking break. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. 
I don't care what you do, as long as you go there and give it your all. It doesn't have to be your own. It could be whatever the fuck you want. It's okay if you're not skilled. <laughs> I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club, considering that you didn't know us all a week ago. It makes me really happy, and also makes me know that it's going to be easy to manipulate you into whatever sick games I want to play later on. Wow. Ah, um, yeah, no problem. Glad <coughs> to help you do that thing that you said. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Because we don't skip leg day. <laughs> we do not. Or pen day. Finger day. Whatever you want to fucking <laughs> see it as. <laughs> I've been working out really, it's, it's, it's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I, I can do this, I can do this. Alright. I stop fiddling with my balls and stand up. <laughs> There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it and try to suppress the boner for the fucking festival, at least. Yep, that's if the most it's important for the thing. sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Wait, do I care about the club? A new wave of feelings washes over me. Ready to go? <clears throat> oh, that's you. Tweaking. Ready to go, Sayori? I, I, I did a... a, a yeah, you did a, a dummy. Foot. Yeah, I did ah, it. I caught your dummy, stupid. Well, I caught it first, but... <clears throat> yep! Look at you two, always going home together like that. I like Yuri. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well... Ah, please don't kill her. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's a I uh, got dead. <laughs> and right when you caught me, or or so whatever. Fuck this. You you go right back into it. Go right back to doing it. I can speak English. Oh, <clears throat> fuck this shit, man. It's okay, MC. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. God. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But for, de for today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Mm. Hey, Sayori. Mm. What's up your ass? Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. There's a giant twig sticking out of your ass. Um. Let me get that for you. I was... Thinking about something from earlier. Oh, okay. That was just one of my daily hallucinations again? Ah, okay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway. I gotta get over that. I like how we get to... I... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? I'd walk home with Yuri. What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> Simple answer. You're kind of putting me in this, on the spot here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. We save, have to make a choice? Save. Save. Oh, my God. Save. Save. I can't save, make choices. Save. All right, we saved. Woo! I can't make choices. Fuck. Oh, <sighs> why would they do this to me? It's a visual novel. Oh, my God. You do it all the time in visual novels. I don't want to have to do this. Uh, we're going to have to, man. We're gonna have to. Oh. It, it, it can it, it can go good or it can go painfully, painfully bad. And we all know that these visual novels can do this to Dude, us. I can't do this. But specifically this one. I can't do this. I don't want to hurt her feelings, bro. But but like she's a bad. But you're going the Yuri route. Fuck it. Just say I would walk home with Yuri. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Oh, I don't want to though. I don't want to say it. I don't. Final answer. It's not fair to say that to somebody. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Deep breaths. Uh, deep breaths. Uh, One more time. Uh, Are we composed? Are we composed? Yes. All right. Final answer. I would walk home with Yuri. All right. Fine. Logically speaking, we're doing the Yuri route. We have to say that. 
But it's not like it's gonna end you, get you any points with Yuri anyway. She doesn't fucking know about it. But it will probably work badly against you later if you said you would walk home with her. It could. You can't. You can't try to be honestly. Like, given the nature of this I game, know, I feel like you're fucked either way. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so go ahead. Read. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does this thought of that make my heart pass? I mean, that's kind of already, you know, he's already attracted to her. You know, we, it, it's we canon. It's, ca it's canon. Yeah, so we it's, established this. I mean. It's not like a 180 or anything. Given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful, awful turning her down, so. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? Okay, that's not. Okay. I mean, she could, you know, she could be like kind of slightly disappointed still, you know. I know. Yeah, that's what, that's. That has something to do with. That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know. What? What the fuck? What? Ah, what are you saying? What are you saying? No! Okay. okay. Don't say that! You're making ah. them feel bad, man. What? What? You know what? You don't need this piece of shit, Sayori. You don't need him. Yeah, you fuck are, MC. You are a fucking powerful and strong person. You don't need anybody's company to feel validated and important. Fuck MC. Need you? Sayori... How much of an asshole do you think I am? A big one? You're right. <laughs> I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. What are you what are you on? Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. I want to use you all equally. Cause I am a fucking scumbag still. Whoa. If if you say so. The conversation trails off. And I'm left feeling awkward. Oh. Oh God. I... Dude, I hate that. She's like, so you can just feel the disappointment, man, in her, in her. Oh man. Dude, fuck. But it was kind of her fault for trap. Shut the fuck up. No, it wasn't her fault. It's your fault for being. It was an honest. It was an honest. It was an honest. An honest ass question, bro. Yeah, but I mean, you also can't blame him. Yeah, because he, you know, yeah, I understand well, we how made he. The choice, so yeah, of I understand how he, you know, how he must feel about that, but it's just okay. like, oh man, I don't know, man. I, I love just, Yuri, man. I can't. Doesn't I can't. doesn't something something doesn't feel right, man. I mean, it's good. they're all gonna die. But... <laughs> Yuri's my favorite, okay? She reads books and she's awesome, so I can't I can't just go against her like that. I can't. I can't just lie to her. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. okay, that that does that that is he's right about that. But Lying something sucks. That makes her happy. I would hate to take that away from her. Mm. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? I already know something bad is gonna happen, man. All right. Something strange. Okay, <sighs> Poem writing. This. Let's do Massacre. I bet that's going to be uh, Natsuki, though. Oh, no. wow. No. Why would it be Natsuki? Uh, death. Oh, what? what is that? What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? Give me, hold on. Sayori. Mm, peace. Yeah, that's more Natsuki's field. I don't know. How about Despise? There we go. That's Yuri. Melancholy is always going to be Yuri. Uh, effulgent. Mm, <coughs> entropy. Entropy. Covet. Tragedy. Tragedy. It, it took me a second, dude. I, I... Oh, that was actually fucking Sayori. Oh. Oh. Well, oh. how about agonizing? Okay, Yuri. As long as we get the most Yuri, it doesn't even matter. Atone. Uh, broke. Fester. 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 Not broken. I feel like broken would have been Sayori. Uh, maybe. Horror. Horror, yeah, that's definitely Yuri. Uh, 
Anxiety? Anxiety. Yeah, that's her. That's totally her. Yep, I definitely feel that. Al that, that, could also, that also works for Natsuki, too, though, yeah. in a sense. Kind of. How would you say? Philosophy. Philosophy. Okay, I, I didn't hear you the first time. <clears throat> Intellectual. No, hopeless. Hopeless. Yeah, I knew that. Was, I knew, no, I knew it. I knew it. Damn, yeah, because she thinks, I don't know, she has a little self-esteem. Yeah, yeah she, she does, but, you know, she's kind of, you know, she kind of keeps it on the low. Uh, graveyard. Graveyard. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of her field. Suicide? No, fuck, don't pick mm. it, don't pick it, don't pick it, don't pick it. I, I, don't I, feel, I feel nervous about that one, too. I don't even want to know who it is. I feel nervous about that one, too. Okay, what else? Um, forgive. Forgive. Forgiving who? What's Man, wrong? What's right wrong, now. Sayori? Eternity. Oh my god. Eternity. Eternity. Okay, that's Yuri. Last one. Just for the fuck of it. Pick pick one that you Okay. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, okay. man, this is making me nervous. So I was joking about that the whole time, but I don't think I was wrong. Oh, oh. I am kind of nervous, man. Oh. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's continue. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into you. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. You can say that. <laughs> yeah, you could you could say I was doing that. You must have a lot of determination. 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 Starting this club and now picking a piano. You one versatile fuck. <laughs> well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And you. And you. And you. I want you. Sexually. Yikes. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. You're all the best little minions any ha. master could ask. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Uh -huh. Yeah, eh? Uh -huh. complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? And now well, just gung ho and shit. What the fuck happened? You put a full 180. Well, yeah. Not talking about our part of the festival. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of, del of delicious food. Who doesn't want to do that, huh? You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Don't you dare compare me to her ever again, MC. I will fucking cut you. All right. Great. Okay. Just, you kind of were like Sayori at the moment. You, you did it again, MC. <laughs> All right. Monica, do they usually That's have... me. Oh, I can't read. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? I, I didn't say I don't like it. The hell is wrong with you? Besides, what do you mean, you of all people? B because it's right in your name. Monica. Wait, Monica. Eh? Ah. Uh. That was a very specific thing for you to pick up on. That's not how you say my name at all, you fuck. You put the emphasis in the wrong spot. <laughs> also, that joke makes no sense in translation. It probably doesn't. <laughs> huh? Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Fourth you break. simple, simple girl. You're all very simple. That's why I'm so able to control you all. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? You keep being the pretty little sheep you are. <laughs> oh, fine, my, fine. My little lambs. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Yeah, I said it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'll beat the fuck out of you. Get the fuck... <laughs> Put your fucking hands up. Let's fucking go right now. Uh, I don't give a shit if MC... Yuri, I, man. Fuck you. I was kidding. You always fucking Yuri, with your stupid that was a joke. underhanded fucking comments. No, Yuri. I'm about to break character Yuri. for this shit. <laughs> fuck you. Put the fucking dukes up. I want to punch you in your stupid face. Break your fucking nose. 
Yeah, you you fucking laughing now, huh? No, no, I, my I, reaction nice now, huh? You fucking piece of shit. I bet this isn't fun for you anymore, huh? Huh? You don't like that? Uh, okay. Let's change the subject. Where is Sayori anyway? Just, oh my fucking god! No. Wait, no, wait, no, wait. No, 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 no. Please don't be what I think it is. Please. Oh my god. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh god, you guys, you guys should have saw his face as soon as he read that. Oh my god. I right, go ahead and narrate Talk. it. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori? I wave my hand in front of her face. Oh, she's still down, down in, in the dumpity. Dude, I'm about to fucking lose it. I'm yeah? so worried, dude. I'm so worried. Okay, whatever. We're good. You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. No, I'm going to mind you. I'm worried about you. You can go talk to everyone else. No, you're important. Stop doing this. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. No, she's off, dude. You be be worried. Jeez, you worry so much about me. I'm fine, see? It's a fake <laughs> smile, damn it. Be worried about her. Fucking ask questions. Oh my god, fucking, sh uh, Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Oh, what are you saying? Dude, I'm so, oh my god, what? please. Stop it! Don't say alright, you fucking idiot. If you say so. And this is one of the things you never do. If you know somebody is down, this is a PSA, a very serious one, not even a joke, separate from this. Mm -hmm. If your friend starts acting strangely... Uh, completely different from how they normally act. Uh, the last thing you want to do is believe what they're going to tell you. If you can tell clearly that their behavior is different, mm -hmm. they might say there's nothing going on. Exactly. But if you can tell something's wrong, you need to either let somebody know or ask them some questions. Don't just leave them alone. There's lots of cases where people end up ending their lives because of stuff like that's going on. They feel like they can't talk to anybody about and everybody doesn't seem to you know, ask them any questions or, or you know, everybody just kind of bats it off as like some teenage moody hormone thing. So yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that, guys. And I understand it's annoying when your friends are like, oh, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong, and there's but, really something yeah, wrong. But yeah, try to but don't consider what what might be going on right. on their side, on their end, you know? Like, don't just give up on, on that because, yes, there's some cases where people are just looking for attention and stuff, but there's a lot of cases where it's serious and they just feel like it's a burden to talk yeah. to Yeah. So they don't, they don't talk to anyone because they don't want to burden them. But do not, do not ignore your friends. Okay, that's at the end of that. We can get back to this. I know I changed the mood, but all right, but, yeah. I worry no, you're right, at Sayori you're right. before turning back. I mean, turning back toward everyone else. You got something to say, man? Share it. Doesn't doesn't yeah. matter. But you know that that was you know that's really insightful. That's things. You know, that's something that people need to hear, man. <clears throat> the conversation is already dispersed with everyone's with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. MC, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Okay, at least he's yeah, bringing I mean, it up to other people. Yeah. Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little m too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Oh, she is so... Oh. Maybe she's there is something She's dissociative right now. Yeah. 
But I'm surprised. I'm not the one asking you. Or I'm, I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, MC. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Uh, at least she thinks that he knows her more. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. Mm -hmm. But this time, when I asked her, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. If it's important, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. Aren't we all friends? I think so. I'm starting to question it now. <laughs> and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try to talk to her myself. Try talking to her myself, whatever. Both <laughs> sentences work. Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Oh my god, it's a fucking idiot. Are you sure? I think maybe she needs someone to check on her. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Exactly. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? She has a crush on you! I mean, it's it's that simple. <laughs> Are you fucking stupid? Like, she clearly likes him. Well, yeah, he is the MC, so. I know. Oh, my God. I'm saying that... Maybe the thing on her mind is you, MC. Thank you, Monica. Thank Me? you. Why? No way. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Maybe all the very obvious hints she's been dropping this entire fucking game. But if I had to pick one, well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayuri talks about you more than anything else, you know. Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. I feel so horrible, man. Oh my god. Dude. Fuck this. I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I'm, I don't want to do this anymore, man. Come on, come on. Fuck it. We're, we're in it till the end, bro. What? When you joined me, you, 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 you trapped yourself. <laughs> I dug my own grave with this Let's Play. No way. Sayori's always like that. You don't even fucking believe it anymore. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. Uh. <laughs> wow, you really are a fucking idiot, MC. You're so funny. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Do you ever notice her behavior around anyone else? Or are you just so, such a fucking self-absorbed, narcissistic male that you could never, ever think of any perspective aside from your own? <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, I said too much. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, what, what do I know anyway? I'm just a woman. <laughs> Didn't mean to jump to conclusions. <laughs> so you should just forget about what I said. I mean, yeah. as a male, you clearly are the more intellectual being. Here. I feel like Monica, in a, in a sense, is like us. Yeah, seriously, he's you such know, a fucking. Or at idiot. least, yeah. I hate males, man. Fuck all men. I'll try to talk to her. So try not to think about it for now. Yeah, just bat it off. It's whatever. It's not your problem. Ah, all right. Can't help but feel bad about that. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her, the, her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. Uh. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. She's causing so many problems for me. <laughs> Damn oh it. <laughs> exactly. How much do I have to care about How much oh. do I how much do I care? Oh, exactly how much do I care about her? But I'm letting this weigh me down so much. A lot she is apparently. a burden on me. And she's burdening me so much that I wish she'd just get cut loose or something. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. 
But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance across around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. Ugh, I can just imagine that. She's kind of scaring me. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. Mm. I realize that she won't get that we she won't get anywhere like this. I never really I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I haven't no I have no choice but to propose <laughs> her myself. <clears throat> By now it's a little easier for me to do that. And much harder for me to read a sentence. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. What does that eat? That sentence was weird. Okay, that wasn't just me. That sentence was weird. Tell me it was weird. Confirm it for me. Validate my feelings. Twas a weird one. Thank you. Hmm. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. But we're gonna have to cut this episode. No. We got. We're already for. Uh, we, we can do a few more minutes, dude. Fine, we'll I decide it. when the episode ends. Who made you the fucking boss? Uh, the, Fuck I'm the one you. who uploads the videos. Who do you think you are? Anyway, continue. No, now I'm mad. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm upset. I don't want to do it anymore. He's gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna waste more time on on this on this recording. I might just let five seconds go by. Yo, oh, you're the worst. You're the worst. I can't believe you actually did that. I did. I did it. I looked at the timer and everything. That might have even been more than five seconds. Relax. You didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? What, what do you think I am? A sensitive feeling person? I'm a male. We don't do that. <laughs> oh, my God. How were you even able to tell I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it, was, it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Mm, really insightful, really. But not that I was staring or anything. R really intent attentive, I mean. Yeah. I didn't do anything creepy like that. I promise I wasn't looking at you. In any case, I guess you were right. I mean, uh, I've been so distraught about this situation with Sayori and... I need help. What do you think about it? I'm sorry if I caused you any concern, but don't apologize. Your troubles are only are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share, <sighs> what's on your mind? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big a deal. It's just the fate of my friend's life. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it. She didn't want to admit it to me. And you're the last person I should probably be talking to about this, but I'm doing it anyway because I'm an ignorant and obviously not very smart person, and this is probably going to lead to some weird shit. I promise. I promise you. I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Why are you taking it there? Oh my god. Yuri, what the fuck? I'm getting really, really concerned. Eh? Uh? Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. It's not romantic at all. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. <sighs> I don't like this. Me neither. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Oh my god! Why did I not... Why did I lose my glasses, man? Maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Well, I'm having trouble reading into it at all. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Give me Ooh, five. Yeah. Lightening up the mood. MC, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. <laughs> She's right. Yep. She is right. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. That is also true. 
There's many mysteries about me that you're not even close to understanding. Yeah, but I feel like we're gonna find out very soon. Oh yeah. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all. Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. She may not always know what she wants. I noticed their strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Oh, boy. Fuck. I, I three guess. Three more minutes, three more minutes. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Hmm. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, cut it out. <laughs> Seriously. You're weirding me the fuck out right now. You're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. Pretty stupid, pretty simple. Beer, TV, and sports. <laughs> so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. That is not a compliment. Uh, ah. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? I just... Exactly. It is what it is. Dude, who the fuck do you think you are? Oh! Yo, what the fuck? Yo, beat this nigga ass. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm wow. sorry. I just let an inbound fly, I'm sorry. It's okay, you're black. That shit really just upset me to that point where I had to do that. You had to... Uh, I don't know, I'm the, sorry. The end slip. I'm it's sorry. okay. It's okay. Anyway, it happens once every few videos. As long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Dude, he's such an ass. I hate this guy. Well, he's us. <laughs> he deserves whatever he's getting, dude. I don't care. Okay, everyone. Should I okay everyone counter too? <laughs> oh yeah. After some time passes, Monica, call, Monica calls out to the club room. All right. And I think that's, that's what we can yeah. end off for episode seven. So, final thoughts before final we thought, end off okay. here. I am very, very distraught about what I believe is going to happen next. But I can't say anything about it because Key doesn't know about it yet. So I am not going to say anything. But for those of you who know what happens in this game... You know why I freaked out earlier this episode, and you know what's coming. And it's it's not good. It's not nice. And I'm not looking forward to it. And that's all I have to say, really. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. All right. So, um, this has been Episode 7 of Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to leave a like. Leave a comment to let us know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already. And shameless self-promotion. Don't forget to hit that um, that bell icon and stay up to date with our new releases. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.